What are monoclonal antibodies? Firstly, antibodies are a protein produced by the B cells in your blood. They are the product of the third line of defense from your body, which means that they are specific to one pathogen. Just as a reminder, there are two types of pathogens, the bacteria and the viruses. To explain what monoclonal antibodies are, I'm going to use the example of Herceptin. Herceptin is a drug with antibodies in it that attack the protein HER2. HER2 is found in 20% of all breast cancers and sometimes in stomach cancers. HER2 makes the cancerous cells grow and replicate faster, so getting rid of it would result in a decreased cancer growth. Scientists obtain the Herceptin by injecting HER2 into lab rats, hamsters, and rabbits. The B cells in these animals then produce the antibodies as an immune response. These antibody producing B cells in the animals are living cells and therefore have a limited lifespan. To overcome this problem, scientists took human myeloma cells, which are cancerous, and fused them together with the B cells, forming a hybridoma which can constantly replicate and produce the desired antibody. These antibodies, however, are not ready yet for practical use. The T cells would detect the foreign antibody and create its own immune response against it. To avoid this, scientists alter the DNA of the antibodies, leaving only the key genes for the variable group at the tip of the antibody unchanged. The final antibody is 95% human DNA and 5% animal DNA. Before the antibodies are given to humans, scientists check to see if there are any severe side effects by injecting the Herceptin into the bloodstreams of monkeys and mice. They found that the antibodies can be passed on to fetuses through the bloodstream and can be passed on through breast milk. Herceptin is therefore not routinely recommended for pregnant or nursing women. Finally, the finished drug is ready for practical use. Thanks to technological advances, the drug can be injected into the patient's bloodstream with the shot. The procedure only takes 5 minutes and can be performed as an outpatient treatment. The best way to stay cancer free, however, is still to have a healthy lifestyle with exercise and a good diet.